Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. Today's repair is a 32 inches Devant LED TV. Not turning on and has no standby light indicator. If you find this interesting, please consider subscribing and click the bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Seems it's been repaired already. This TV is no power so I will first measure voltages. This diode is only about 2 volts and kicking, it should be 12 volts. The backlight supply is 0 volts. Seems the backlight diode rectifiers are shorted. Let's try the digital multimeter and sets to continuity, some viewers like the beeping sound. The main capacitor is charged at about 250 volts DC. Before examining and soldering any component, first discharge the capacitor. This resistor is 220 ohms 20 watts. I will be going to use it to discharge the capacitor. Looks familiar. A lazy technician cut these two diodes and then tests them, if the test is good, he solders them back like this. What a stupid idea. This MOSFET also shorted. I think this MOSFET is the shorted, not the diodes. why there is a 10k resistor connected to the gate and to the source of this MOSFET. This MOSFET is the LED backlight driver. This MOSFET is shorted, not these two diodes.
Let's check if the 12 volts will present if the shorted MOSFET is removed. Yes, it's now present. I have this scrap TV board. I will take this MOSFET which is a LED driver, and replace it with the TV that I'm working on. This is why there's a 10K resistor connected to the gate onto the source. A missing resistor here. The output of the LED driver is about 38 volts. Let's turn it on and see if it's working. The voltage is increasing to about 100 volts. Let's use the analog multimeter.
What is better? Analog or digital to measure a voltage like this? Seems working now. The MOSFET is not creating heat. A few moments later. The TV is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video and remember to like and subscribe. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again later. Bye for now.